Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Haley here with another video for you. And today I want to address something that is a question that I get asked a lot, which is why did you choose to go to West Valley College rather than De Anza College? De Anza being the better of the two choices in the area that I'm in. Actually one of the best community colleges in the state. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my thought process behind that decision because a lot of times people also ask me like, where should I go to community college? And the answer is really wherever you want to go to community college. I would never tell someone where to go to school, period. I would never tell someone what to do. Of course, I can give you some information that may sway you one way or another. Um, but without further ado, let's just get right into it. So as you know, if you have been watching my channel for a while, I graduated high school. I went to a college preparatory school, but things didn't go so well. I had some you know, personal issues in high school that really prevented me from giving my all. And as a result, I didn't get into any of the colleges that I applied to, which didn't really matter for me anyway because I couldn't afford to go to college, plain and simple. Um, so what I decided to do was, was to go to community college. And in my area, I live in San Jose, California, there are tons of community college options. There's West Valley, there's Mission, De Anza, Foothill, Evergreen, San Jose City. So there are a lot of options for me um, within like a 10 or 15 mile radius of my house. So that being said, at the time I had just started working, it was my first job. I was starting to become pretty close with most of my coworkers and a lot of them went to community college. And so a lot of them went to West Valley, which isn't really the main factor why I chose to go there, but it definitely kind of swayed my decision a little bit because it was nice to think of having some familiar faces in a new place that I had never been, this being the biggest school that I had ever attended up at that point in my life, because um, I was going to small private schools. So that was definitely something that I considered. Uh, location was also another factor for me because West Valley is closer to my house than De Anza, um, although it's just a few more miles down Highway 85 whatever, I still would rather not deal with the traffic for a few more miles and just go with something that's closer. But ultimately what it came down to for me is the fact that it doesn't really matter to me because honestly, here's my philosophy. You will get out of community college what you put into it, right? Community college is what you make of it. Like I always say in a lot of my other videos, you could go to Harvard and fail. You could go to community college and excel and eventually that will put you in a position to transfer to a top school like Harvard, for example. So at the end of the day, in my book, it doesn't really matter where I went to community college. What matters is what I do at that community college. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of the difference between West Valley and De Anza, I've looked it up right here. So there are certain community colleges that are considered better than others. You know, they've been ranked according to these university websites. So De Anza ranks number two in the entire state of California, second only to Cypress College, which is in Cypress, California. I honestly have no idea where Cypress, California is. Um, but De Anza is number two and West Valley ranks number 15, which is still pretty good But De Anza is not only in the top 10. It is the second best community college in California according to niche.com and just consistently across different websites according to different people De Anza ranks pretty high. What does that really mean though? Typically what that means is there are really high transfer rates at that community college people who go to that school are more successful in completing their associate's degree and in being able to transfer to a four-year university. But to me, once again, that doesn't really matter because I could go to Deans and fail, I could go to West Valley and fly. I could go to Foothill and be an amazing student. I could go to Mission and be a terrible student. I mean, I could technically go to UCLA and be a horrible student. That's not the case. That is exactly my point though. I'm not here to say something negative. What I'm saying is just because you go to Deanza by default doesn't make you a better student, doesn't mean you're gonna get into the school that you wanna go to just because they have high transfer rates. Like it is about what you do with your time in community college. I'm very happy with my decision to go to West Valley. People will kind of criticize West Valley when, you know, in this area. 
Um, I think if you know the reputation of De Anza and you know what community college can do for you, then, you know, they may be more partial to De Anza, but at the end of the day, like, just go wherever feels right, you know? I did that, things turned out well for me, I was happy to be in a place that had familiar faces, people that I knew, people that I was friends with. I knew people who went to De Anza as well, and neither of them ended up finishing their degrees. Whereas I went to West Valley, my best friend went to West Valley, her best friend went to West Valley, a few of our other friends went to West Valley, we all graduated, and this year we all transferred. Um, they transferred to San Jose Street. I transferred to UCLA. You can do whatever you want. Like, you can go wherever you want. Things are gonna be great. Um, I know a few other people who went to West Valley, and I think one of them transferred to Howard, which is great. You know, just, you can get into those top colleges no matter where you go. Like, so when people ask me where should I go to community college, I don't really think that you can say one is necessarily better than the other. Maybe one will have more resources than the other. Like for example, if you compare De Anza to like City College of San Francisco, which was almost unaccredited by like the state of California. Yeah, there are gonna be some huge differences, but generally I think most community colleges are on the same playing field. It's pretty level. Um, you know, I don't know, if you were looking to go to a very specific school and there was a community college that had a great transfer rate, great pathway to that school, for example, Santa Monica College has, you know, the overwhelming majority of graduates do transfer to UCLA. It's a really big feeder school for UCLA out of all the community colleges. But, you know, just generally, if it were like, if you're in LA and you want to go to UCLA and, you know, you're in LA County, but you're like in the Valley, is the Valley really LA County? I don't know. Obviously, I'm not from LA. But if you're in the Valley and you're like, oh my god, I need to transfer to UCLA, it's my goal. I don't think it's worth making, you know, the two hour in traffic drive to Santa Monica College every day for two years. Just go to your local community college and you'll be just fine. Um, but I mean, once again, your choice. I personally went to the less popular, less successful community college and everything worked out just fine for me. I had amazing professors. Um, I had an amazing experience, well, amazing is a stretch, but I had a great experience, you know? I had pretty low expectations. At the end of the day, I was very pleased with the experience that I had at community college. Was it always great? No. Was it always exactly what I was looking for? No, but it got the job done. I got the education that I needed, I got my general education out of the way, and I had some really great teachers along the way. By the way, most of them also taught at a four university such as state or a few of them taught at uc so you know you are always in a great position when you're going to community college i think so if anyone is kind of battling debating within themselves where to go to community college i would just look at some basic things location you know reputation if you so desire um, and then, of course, most of them are going to cost the same. If you're a recent high school graduate, you can probably get in for free. But, you know, if it's something that really matters to you, of course, go for it. But at the end of the day, I think no matter where you, are, where you go, you're going to get a good education. And you will do well if you want to do well. That's really the moral of this story. If you are in it, if you're committed, then you'll make it happen. I hope that clarifies that up for you guys. Anyone who's in the Bay Area, I'm not saying that you should go to West Valley. I'm not saying that you should go to De Anza. Do what you want. It's your life. Live it the way that you want. Um, but I'm just saying, yeah, I had, you know, generally an okay experience at West Valley. Um, across the board, I think most people that I've interacted with have some pretty valid complaints about their community college, but based on, you know, the people that I've interacted with and what I've heard, that's something that's very widespread that you're gonna run into at any community college. So hopefully it's something that has improved as time passes, but only time will tell. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I am constantly uploading community college, transfer, and UCLA related content every Saturday at 3 p.m., which is when I will see you next. Bye.